Wonderful, and welcome to the webinar, guys. So if you're listening to this, maybe you are a business owner, maybe you're a coach, maybe you're in marketing, maybe you're in sales, you're an entrepreneur, whatever, you are going to want to listen to this because I tell you why. This webinar is all about adapting your business to the online world fast, even if you're not too techy. So essentially, this is almost like a completely well thought out uh, marketing business in a box. Uh, I'm joined by uh, Julian Mills, a very good friend. I've known Julian for uh, nearly five years now, and he is uh, my go-to person as a, a systems guy. He's helped various entrepreneurs grow and scale, and his mind literally works different uh, to, to my mind. Uh, and again, my name, uh, for those of you who don't know me, is Paul Greg Smith from Personal Development Essentials uh, podcast, as well as the Growth Mindset Movement. Uh, I have a couple of businesses, I've got a travel business, and I'm also a business coach, and I do kind of a lot of uh, sales as well. So uh, this is really kind of useful content for anyone who is struggling now in these times of crisis and times of COVID, and you're thinking, how do I adapt my business online? How do I continue to get more leads? How do I continue to follow up? And how do I still get more sales in these times of crisis? So yeah, without further ado, thank you for uh, joining me, uh, Julian. And remember, guys, stay to the very end because you're going to be able to download this entire blueprint. And Julian is something of a genius in terms of mapping out complete systems and structures, which you can just emulate and copy and use straight away. So Julian, Thank you. And let's, let's dive straight in, shall we? Thank you, for Paul, for, for that brilliant introduction there. Yep. So um, just a little bit about me. Um, uh, I am in my day job uh, in QSOS Certified Partner. I've been doing that for over 10 years now, but don't worry. I'm not here to sell you QSOS today. What I want to show you today is a way to use Zoom and systemize Zoom to create a consultation selling system. Uh, so obviously I've, I've used Zoom for many years now, but during the recent COVID virus, uh, it's come to the forefront, everyone's heard of Zoom now. Uh, and also uh, I was on a presentation with Marcus Sheridan, of, uh, who wrote the book, They Ask You Answer. Fantastic Great book. book. Yeah, yeah. sorry, that for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was on a presentation with him back in March and he was saying how he, he has changed the way he sells his swimming pools, his business, rather than a salesperson going around, to sell the pool, which you can't, you couldn't do during the, the virus. He was doing it via Zoom. So that got me thinking, how could Zoom be systemized and made more efficient rather than just scheduling the call in your calendar, copy and pasting links. Uh, so this is where this system evolved from. Uh, today I'm going to show you the blueprint I've created. Uh, and like as Paul said, you can em emulate that. Uh, so some elements have a little bit of cost to it. You don't need Infusionsoft. Necessarily, but so Infusionsoft is for people who want to kind of really grow and scale and get serious. But otherwise, for anyone starting out their business or whatever, you can use the simple low cost side of this to set up. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So I'll show you. The, I'll show you the low cost way, the way, the way, the way I've done it for years now, and, and then I'll show you how you can really wrap things up and, and go to the next level with Infusionsoft if, if, if you need that level. Yep. So this system uses. Uh, free tools. It uses Zoom, which now everyone's familiar with. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can use Zoom for free. Uh, if you're doing group meetings, then you do need uh, to to upgrade there. But mm -hmm. if it's one to one calls, then you can use Zoom for free, no problem. Also uses Google Calendar, also Microsoft Calendar as well. Work. I'm using Google Calendar. And then the, the other tool I'm using is called Schedule Once. And Schedule Once is like um, like a virtual PA, really. Mm. I could not live without this now in my in my business because it saves me so so much time, as I'll show you in a minute. There is a cost associated with this. It's that uh, presently it's fifteen dollars a month okay. for free users. So you can have free reps using it for fifteen dollars. Uh, it's it's a very sophisticated scheduling system. The, the best the best one I believe out there. But it's simple to use. Yeah, it takes a little bit of setting up, but yeah, it's very plug and play in a simple way. You can get very advanced with it. I'll show you, I'll show you later on if, if you need it, if your business requires it. So these are the three tools you're going to be using for this. Uh, you see, as we go through the flow chart, I've color coded it. So Schedule Arts is blue, Zoom is in the sort of ready pink, and Google Calendar is in the gray. And later on, you see a few stuff in green. 
but let's kick off. So you've got your website and you're getting traffic to come to your website. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's organic, or maybe you're doing some marketing, email marketing, uh, so, you know, warming people up and nurturing them. And at some point, they're going to they're gonna want to speak to somebody. You're going to mm -hmm. schedule a call. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to schedule a call with them. And rather than a telephone call, you're going to automate it so that a Zoom call is set up automatically, where you can have a video call as well as audio. Uh, so they come to they come to your website ultimately and fill in a form which is hosted by Schedule Once. You see the blue. Uh, mm -hmm. They come to this form. Uh, they can automatic Schedule Once will automatically interrogate your your Google Calendar to see what dates you're available, what times you're available. So again, schedules it all for you. There's no back and forth between you and the client at the moment. This is all done on on the client end on the, on on these forms on these websites. Again, saving you time and uh, energy. Absolutely, not that turn a phone or phone tennis trying to arrange a call or a meeting even do this. Uh, so they'll, 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 they'll sort out what dates are available, they can check their calendar. Uh, we can also profile them at that point as well, so we can ask some questions. What size business, how long have you been in business? All those uh, It's almost like pre-framing the prospect there. Perfect. Exactly. Pre-framing, yes. So when you get on a call, you know something about you, you've checked out the website, you know you've got to check out the company, whatever your process is. So. They, got to, they, they schedule the call, they choose a time. As soon as you do that, schedule once will talk automatically to your Zoom account. It will set up a Zoom meeting in Zoom. Mm -hmm. uh, it will pull in the Zoom link for the meeting, okay? Um, and say, so once it's got the Zoom link, it will then send the prospect an email mm -hmm. saying, click here to install the event on your calendar. With the Zoom links already embedded for them. So when they come to the calendar for the meet to call, the link is there. Just click mm -hmm. the link, mm -hmm. video, the call starts. So it sends them an email. It also takes that appointment and drops it into your calendar and blocks out that time so you're never double booked. Yeah. Uh, it, with a link in there for your calendar. So you just come in in the morning, look at calendars, of course, you've got to do, click on the link, your mm. call starts. Very easy. Yeah. Nice. So, so once the call has been scheduled, then in the run up to that call, schedule once is going to send reminder emails. Yeah. So I have not even customized those emails. I just use the ones out of the box with schedule once. So I can't remember how often mine are going out now, but it's a few days before, the day before, the morning of the call. And again, reminders. all of this, this is done automatically. So you don't even have to do this. The, the schedule once just does all this for you, all automated, reminding all your leads to be on that call. So really increasing uh, the chances that the, there's not going to be any no-shows. Exactly. Yeah. No-shows are very, very rare for me. Mm. Um, I even send a text and schedule once automatically sends a text. 10 minutes before, yeah, and it's all it's all time zones as well, so it accommodates the time zones, you know. So if you say you can only work nine to five, you're only taking calls nine to five UK time, mm -hmm. then it's not going to, you know, Ameri the American ones will get some free times, obviously. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I do is some days I'll, I'll, I'll have the uh, blocks where I'm available to eight o'clock UK time, just to try and accommodate different time zones a bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, so to get those reminders, now, join those reminders, they might decide, um, that they, can, that they can't make the call now. Maybe they need to reschedule. They just click on the link and they can reschedule the call. Yeah, they come back in here, they reschedule the call. It automatically updates their calendar. It automatically updates your calendar. There's no turn and throw when they want to reschedule. Yeah, nice. they also get the option to cancel. And you see here, at this point, we've got a dead end. Uh, and I'll show you later on how I come down that infusion stuff. But at this point, if they cancel, then it's up to you to manually to remember to follow up with them. Mm. Okay, so you get those reminders, and then we do the call. So on the day of the call, we do the video sales call, click the link, they click the link, you just start talking, and everyone knows Zoom now. Just very quickly, I just want, want to add something there. For anyone listening, all of this kind of automation is happening in the background, right? So every, all that you would see, if, you know, if, if you've got your, your, whether it's your website or a, or a lead machine or a landing page or whatever, You've got that up, you're already getting traffic to it and so on. So what this is gonna look like is literally your email inbox is just gonna get filled up with leads. And it automatically does the calendar for you. You don't have to do anything. You're not even calling the prospects or anything like this. All of this is automatic. You just literally look in your inbox. Have I got sales calls today? Do I have any leads or anything like that? So 
it does all of the heavy lifting for you. Sorry, Julian, I just wanted to kind of add what it, so people have got a yeah. clearer picture of what yeah, it so looks you, like. Yes, you, you just, you're just looking in your calendar, the course, the list yeah. of course you've got for that day. Uh, and, and what you can see, you might, you might come in at what, nine o'clock in the morning and you look at your list of calls and suddenly one will disappear. Mm. And, well, I'm sure I had a call at 10 o'clock. Uh, and then when you look back and you go, oh, that person's actually clicked this link here and rescheduled because they couldn't make it call that morning. So rather than mm. phone you and mess about trying to reschedule, they just click the link and rescheduled and it's automatically moved in your calendar. Mm. That's so cool when you see that. Mm. It's just saving you, you know what? It saves so much time. Mm. And obviously, in the simple system here, when, when the video sales completed, then it's completed or mm. no shows are manually recorded. And that's, that's where the simple version of this leads off. Mm. Um, is that okay, Paul? You got any questions on that? No, yeah, no, that's, sure that's all good, all straightforward. So literally now, with again, I'm just thinking from the per, from the perspective of the business owner. So you're looking in your inbox, you're looking at your calendar, and it's all kind of populated with leads, which is a wonderful thing to see. And so then you can even, if I understand this correctly, you can just literally click on the link in the calendar, and it takes you straight to the Zoom call. So there's none of that having to log into Zoom, cut and paste and send that to your prospects. Because I know some people, it might take five or 10 minutes to do that. And then sometimes people have issues logging on and you're, you're following up with the phone. Did you get the link okay? And all this kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So again, none of that. It's literally just click on your calendar straight into Zoom. Uh, and what, one of the byproducts of this is that it, it forces you to be very organized with your calendar, okay? Mm -hmm. So the system is automatically gonna book, book calls for you. Now, so then if you're going on holiday for a week or two days or whatever it might be, you need be, to block it out. <laughs> you've got a meeting, you need to be religious and block it out. Mm. So it does force you. And I, what I found personally, it forces you to use your calendar so much better. And it's mm. amazing the difference of it. I never get double booked. That's good. Yeah. That's good. And again, what's in the diary gets done, you know, so to, to really kind of help serious kind of minded people to make the most of their time and make the most of their kind of, uh, you know, incoming leads. It sounds fantastic. Actually, we should make a note of that, Paul, to uh, actually do a video or, or a webinar on um, a video or a webinar on how to use a calendar, because that, that's mm -hmm. been a game changer itself for me as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is just a part of that. <clears throat> So just to, just to finish off, I'd like to show you where this can really take you if you need this level mm. of sophistication. Yeah. So that's the simple level and that's simple pretty level. inexpensive to get set up. So especially if you're, if you're just setting up a business, for example, or even if you want to keep costs as low as possible, you can do this with just schedule once zoom and uh, you know, Google calendar or, or whatever other calendars, uh, there's a whole load of easy integrations there. Yeah. Now, when you bolt on your marketing automation system or CRM, mm -hmm. well, obviously I'm going to talk about Fusion because that's one I know, that's one I love. Uh, and that, that could be something different. There, there are lots of other ones, yeah. so whether it's Infusionsoft or, or other ones. Yeah, it could be HubSpot, Active Campaign, those sorts of things mm -hmm. as well. Or MailChimp um, or all those kind of yeah. things, yeah. The, those integrate with Schedule Ones. And okay. The, the Schedule Ones integration is so close with these tools, it's amazing. Uh, but I'll show you the Infusionsoft one because that'll give you the insight and you'll know what you know then. So, mm -hmm. so I'll click on C here, we'll, and then we can scroll down, and we can see, we see now it's growing. And what I love about this, and, and for anyone who's initially looking at this and going, whoa, that looks a little bit too, too complicated. Actually, again, what Julian has got a gift for, uh, he, he could just kind of does this effortlessly. He's able to talk to business owners, entrepreneurs, and kind of clearly identify, you know, their whole marketing funnel you know from from start to finish and once people get this out on paper it, it, it's amazing because you can then look at kind of like okay where am i missing out where am i yeah. not following up on prospects there's that wonderful phrase you know the fortune is in the follow-up we all know not everyone is always ready to buy then and there but they might buy from you in a year's time or, or five years time or whatever so this is about you know long-term value of your email list as well and making sure that you're really following up so yeah, Julian, I um, can't wait for you to kind of elaborate on your your uh, system here. Okay, so um, we now see the, the, the chart has grown somewhat, uh, mm -hmm. and you'll see see the uh, green coding. This is where Infusionsoft is kicking in. So we've got the same system as before, the basic. Now when someone schedules a call now, uh, and fills in our profiling form, I'm automatically pushing that contact into Infusionsoft. Mm -hmm. Along with any profiling data we catch, any custom data, tags, etc. And again, just just in layman's terms, uh, again, uh, sorry to stop <laughs> you there, Julian. In layman's terms, that means 
rather than having to manually cut and paste client details, enter them into a system or a CRM or even in a booklet somewhere, this is done automatically. So they landed on your page, leads come in, all this kind of stuff, but it's already gone into the CRM, the details are captured and profiled, wow. Yeah, they come into a few soft with all the data and I can trigger automated campaigns, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever they may be for the business. So that happens automatically. There's no work involved as Paul mentioned. And when it comes to the actual Zoom calls here with scheduling, you can see here before, uh, when they cancelled, we reached a dead end. Mm. There was nothing, there was sort of, unless we remembered them manually, as it were, they, exactly. they get the gutter. And this is where leads can fall through the cracks, isn't it? If they, they cancel for whatever reason, I can automatically trigger marketing to follow up. I can send them emails, emails, texts, even direct mail if I want. I can send them all with, with saying, please reschedule. You, sorry, Mr. Cole, please reschedule. And again, that brings them back in. They click the link and they're going to come back in and schedule a new call with us. Wow. And again, sorry, sorry to stop you there, Julian. If, <laughs> if you're watching this and you're kind of thinking, well, what are the ramifications uh, for my business with this? Imagine this no lead left behind yeah, you know exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah no lead left behind you you really are you're tightening your net not only the front end but also the long term value of the the prospect they might not be able to buy now for whatever reason but maybe in 6 months or a year they might be so this is this is massively valuable guys yes that's well well put Paul. Well put, yep yeah. uh, so <laughs> the, the, the sale the sales call occurs on the day uh, there's two outcomes there. Either the sales call is completed, they turn up, you have the conversation, or you get a no-show, God forbid, mm. yeah? With this, with this system, it's very, very rare that happens, very rare. Uh, but it does, uh, in, in, in the sort of simpler system, that's a dead end, a potential dead end. But again, with, all, with Infusionsoft, when I get a no-show, I just record it in Zoom, Zoom will automatically tell Infusionsoft, I can trigger another campaign, let's say, sorry you didn't make the call today, maybe something came up, life's busy, mm. yeah? Uh, and again, we're looking to send them a link to reschedule that call and bring them back into the fold, as it were. Yeah. So, so once the call is completed, uh, in Infusionsoft, I'm going to automatically create a sales opportunity, an opportunity to sell something, and effectively then drop it into what we call a sales pipeline. Okay. So each rep would have a sales pipeline like this, and they see all their they see all their opportunities and manage them on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and this is a lot of what I set up for clients now. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, the ideal is to take them through a process to the, the sale is won. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the way I work this is rather just in the traditional sort of won and lost. I mm. also have another pot, maybe in the futures. Yeah. Mm. So if you maybe maybe you're able to convert five percent to pick your initial leads, whatever it is, they're one that's low hanging fruit. Great. Mm. Uh, people, there's, then there's be some people you just do not want to deal with. Mm. not the right fit to your business you're never going to deal with them and that's where i put them as lost mm. yeah but anyone other than that who doesn't buy they're to me they're maybe in the future they just haven't said no yet yep yeah? <laughs> they're maybe in the future uh, i'll try to maybe in the future again then the future of automation can take over uh, and follow with an evergreen maybe in the future campaign this campaign mm. never ends yeah uh, the, the one i've got running for myself is like it runs for five years wow yeah. Send, an e send you an email every five months. My record now is somebody buying after four years. Wow. Um, yeah. And, and again, actually, I think um, I've, I've had something similar. I've, I've actually had, uh, I think the longest has been seven or eight years. For, for me. And literally, right. this person, they'd, they'd been on my email list for so long. And, they, and this was from my travel company, uh, Greg Smith Travels. And they were like, uh, we've always wanted to go on your trips and we just, we never had the money and these were for our wildlife trips. But then one day that email, the right time, the right place, she said, we had the money and we just decided to go for it. And I was like, wow. So you've been seeing my emails all this time. And then for, again, so this evergreen uh, kind of capacity of your marketing system, as I say, no leads left behind, mm. not just the front end on the sales one. This is making sure you're, following up and nurturing leads in the long term yeah perfect well put well yep uh so so this is where traditional sort of sales was finished you know sale is one but when you start to think about systems we can take it to another level now mm. so we can maybe create a client onboarding camp a client onboarding pipeline yeah mm. 
So, so maybe, maybe you've got a, an onboarding process, maybe doing coaching calls, mm. maybe running a mastermind. So say in the mastermind, you have a group call every, every month for a year. Mm. Yeah, that can all be accommodated in, in schedule once. You can set up a mastermind group where, where your 100 people or your 10 people, whatever, they all register for that event. It's all pre-programmed into the future. All mm. the reminders go out. Coaching calls as well, one-to-one -one coaching calls, you can do that. You can even have them paid or free. You can, uh, and then schedule once does all the follow-up for you, all the reminders that the calls can be up. You don't have to think about it. Mm. Yeah. So you can have the client onboarding. Uh, obviously, uh, what the client said was the invoiced. When the client paid, I call them an active client then. Uh, I would then drop them into another evergreen, uh, keep in touch client mm. evergreen campaign. Again, typically what this will do, uh, at the very least, what you want the customers to do is, is just keep in touch with them. So this would be pre pro that once a month an email goes out, uh, just to keep in touch with them. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's not like it's a time sensitive type email because this has to be sort of evergreen, you know. Uh, but you know, if you see stuff, if it's got an, a, a time sensitive offer or a piece of pertinent news, it's time sensitive, you can always send that broadcast email. Like other systems can do. And, and, and again, just to kind of add a, a few, you're talking about keep in touch, because again, not everyone is ready to buy initially. Sometimes people are just browsing, window shopping or whatever. But you can use these automated evergreen campaigns to, it's almost like, and again, we're both fans of, you know, uh, Marcus Sheridan's book, um, you know, They Ask, You Answer. So if you think of it this way, your prospect, your potential clients, they've they're either looking for products or they've got uh, struggles or, or problems and they're looking for for solutions or services to them so your job your business is to continually educate your prospects so you kind of stay top of mind in in their awareness and attention because mm. otherwise you'll be forgotten about you know people will forget about you so by continuing to provide value you know and and the example of uh, marcus sheridan he he sold, sells swimming pools. So rather than try and just sell, sell, sell swimming pools, he educated people on all the different brands and all this kind of stuff. So he educated them further down in the funnel so that people would have, so after they've done their research, they would then think, well, who's a really good person to go to for my uh, swimming pools? And then he would be, you know, top of mind awareness. So you can really use these, not just for, you know, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, but to you know, build the relationship with your prospects, so over time they know, like, and trust you. Yeah, very well, well put again, Paul. Yeah. So that basically uh, sums up really the sort of the blueprint for a system where the, the very basic, you know, integrating these three systems very tightly. Uh, and you could you can do it yourself. You don't you don't need an expert to do that. Um, uh, and that alone, will, for most businesses, that is a game changer. Being able to organise that level. Mm. And as I say, if, if you do need to go to a more sophisticated way, then you, you see how this, this system can be evolved for your business to accommodate that, yeah. That's fantastic. So literally, if you're listening to this, make sure you hang around to the end because Julian is going to be able to share this kind of blueprint with you. But again, it, just to kind of convey exactly what this is. Guys, this is, it's like a business in a box. This information, this is totally free. But, but check it out, this is really transformative. This helps take people from, you know, leads, prospects to purchasing, you know, and it takes, it automates it, it does a hell of a lot of the heavy lifting, even if you're not that tech savvy. So the simple version here, the schedule once, the Zoom and the calendar is really easy to set up. And that's great for any business, whether it's a solopreneur, a coach or anything mm -hmm. like that, um, or even a tradesperson. And again, you mentioned the example of, how do we adapt to, to COVID and so on? Think of it this way. You don't necessarily have to manually visit your kind of prospects for, mm -hmm. for quoting or anything, maybe preparing for when, you know, lockdown ends and all this kind of stuff. People can use their phones to kind of, you know, whether it's quoting for, for some kind of garden or interior design or any, any kinds of trade stuff, you can use video with Zoom showing around so people are able to kind of give, you know, rough estimates and all this kind of stuff. So this is a perfect way. Imagine that, not even having to drive out to see your prospect. You know, for some people who had to drive half hour, hour to see a prospect and then it's, it's not even a good lead. You can do all of this 
So again, this is saving time, saving money, helping filtering your prospects and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and obviously for those people who are already well-versed, they're already getting the leads and the conversions, and then they want to take it to the next level. That's when you want to scale up with a really good CRM, be it Infusionsoft or Active Campaign or MailChimp or whatever. Yeah, and, and this system also, it opens up the whole world to your marketing as well. You know, when you can physically, well, not physically, but when you can um, buy video, interact with people, mm. it's the next best thing to be in there. I, mm. was, I was just talking to a client the other day in uh, Hong Kong, uh, and he, he sells spread to the garment manufacturing businesses in, oh, wow. <laughs> in, the, in the Far East. So, yeah. so he, in the past, he has spent a lot of time traveling to places in Bangladesh. Mm. Uh, in the backwaters of Bangladesh, it takes days to get to these places mm. to, have a meet, to have one meeting. Mm. Uh, and he had to do that because that's the way they work. It had to be face-to-face -face meetings. Mm. And what's had, he was, he'd been blown away because he's used Zoom for years, but these people he was dealing with wanted face-to-face -face meetings. Now with the virus, they've had to change their thinking. So they're now switched onto Zoom. And suddenly, he, you know, the amount of time he's having to travel around the world has gone, it's, it's, Gone to a quarter, maybe a third of wow. it, and his clients are happy about it now. Mm. They they see the benefits of using Zoom during the during the virus crisis, mm. uh, and everyone's mind, mindset has changed. Uh, making this working working this way and automating as much as you can, perfect at this time. Yeah, uh, that, that that's incredible. So again, we've seen how even you know in the UK, you know, um, what, uh, Boris Johnson and the cabinet and all that kind of having to do things by Zoom. So across the world, you know, we're all having to, to adapt and change our businesses. And this is a really super simple way that you can, you know, adapt your business fast and, you know, collapse timeframes, you know, really kind of begin to turn, make your business more efficient and more effective. So you can ultimately make more money and, and still, you know, potentially thrive in times of crisis. Yeah, definitely. So after this video, Paul, I'll ask this webinar and video, I'll uh, make available the PDF. Fantastic. Download. Yeah, so, so yeah, download that, guys. I highly recommend that. And if, if say, anyone wants to, um, you know, let's say if you're a business owner and, uh, you know, you think this is incredible, but you're, you're literally too busy and you're still like a bit like me, I'm, I'm not a systems guy. And you're like, do you know what? I actually want to talk to someone. Where can people get hold of you, Julian? Yeah, so when you download this uh, PDF, this document, uh, you'll see there there's a contact me section on the PDF. Again, click the link and guess what happens? Uh, you can schedule a discovery call with me. <laughs> there you <laughs> so, go. So you, so you can see it in action. Sch schedule a one hour discovery call, happy to have a chat, happy to point the right, the right direction, I'm not trying to pitch you anything or sell you anything, just help you get started. Um, so that's, yeah. the way, that's the way I roll. <laughs> and and so, so literally, again, if, if you're, let's say, uh, if funds are an issue, just use this information, set up this simple method with the schedule once Zoom and Google Calendar that Julian has outlined here and use this blueprint as a step-by-step -step guide. Uh, but again, if there's anyone who already uh, higher kind of levels and like, okay, I'm already kind of at that level, I know the simple stuff, but I want to scale and start targeting and following up with more prospects, mm -hmm. then by all means, give, uh, give Julian a call. And again, as I say, he has helped uh, many very successful entrepreneurs grow and scale because not all of us have a kind of systems mind. Some people, are, are, you know, they're good at sales. They're good at coaching. They're good at quoting. They're good at their trade or whatever, but they're not good at the techie stuff. So this simple blueprint is, and again, I love the way, Julian, that you almost like um, idiot proof a lot of this stuff uh, <laughs> and help to map it out in one go. Because for many people, that's where things, you know, they find things can get complicated. So, yeah, download the blueprint, guys. And if you do want to uh, give Julian a call, by all means, uh, book in a call with him. But otherwise, thank you, Julian, for your time today. Uh, it's always a pleasure. And there's always so many nuggets of actionable kind of insights and <laughs> wisdom. Always a pleasure. And uh, thanks again, guys. And uh, keep an eye out for more webinars, business-related webinars in the future. Thanks for time today, Paul. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yes, Bye. Thanks. Bye.